Good morning in Australia. It's Sunday, almost 11. Um, welcome to this week's Global Energy of the Week. We are going to look at April 12th to April 18th, 2021. And this is the week 15 of 2021. So, what happens? What has been happening for you in the last few weeks? Um, there's a build-up of energy coming into this week. And so, perhaps at this stage, you've been making um, decisions, you've been kind of taking strength to move forward uh, with what you want to do. And then this week is the week where you perhaps make decisions on what's the way you're going to go forward. So 15 can be an intuitive teacher. So if you have been listening within, if you have been really connecting to your heart, now week 15 you really get a lot more insights and it helps you create a new concept according to the life. But if you've been thinking a lot, if you've been in your mind, Perhaps now you are full of fear. Oh no, I cannot do this, I cannot do that, I cannot do this, I cannot do that. It, doing all the mental work. So the 15 will ask you to make a decision. In, in the tarot card, um, uh, in the major arcana, this card, this number corresponds to the devil. And why is that? It's not because it's a temptation or whatever. It's because we're made we are given an opportunity to make a decision. So what is, what is your focus? If your focus is being congruent to your inner being, to your light, to your bliss, then that'll make you uplift. But if you are stuck in the mind, if you're stuck in the fears, in, in, in all the excuses of why you cannot do things, then it will take you down. And so that's where the devil comes in. Um, if you're stuck in the structure of the world, that's when the devil will grab you. So the devil is not, it's, it's just a, a me metaphorical figure to say you're being stuck in the material world, in the appearance, in what, in what appears to be the things you want. You know, for example, if you're considering a change in career, and you've been stuck in the mind thinking, oh, but that's not going to give me enough income and, and so on. Maybe I should just do that. That's a lot easier. Then you're stuck in what is on the surface. So you are not looking within and perhaps you're being a little incongruent with your truth. And so that will cause a lot of frustration and that will cause for you to not feel uh, let's say at peace. So that's when, when what the what the devil means in there. <clears throat> so um, this is a week that presents a, a decision point. What are we going to do moving forward? Are we guided by fear? Or are we going to trust and follow our intuition? So that is a big thing. You need to trust. So whatever is cooking inside, whatever it has been. Uh, uh, going within your mind, what are they going to think about me? What, what's going to happen with us? What, da, 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 da. That's already in there because it's time to birth yourself. Whatever it is that you have decided, this is the time. So, <clears throat> the week 15 plus the 5 of the year 2021, it's 20. 20 will ask us to birth ourselves, as I was just saying before. Giving birth is a violent process. It's, a process of coming into the world with a new project. So what is it that you're birthing? Is it birth, are you birthing yourself? Are you birthing a new project? Are you birthing a new relationship? Are you giving, li leaving behind things that are not supporting you anymore? But then we need to surrender. And just like the butterfly coming out of the cocoon, just jump. And, and do what needs to be done. Um, so if, if you are deciding to be in, in, in 
line with your heart and your inner being. This is going to be a, perhaps a difficult moment, but one that will uplift you and move you forward in the direction of you know the, the, your purpose. Yes. If you are stuck in fear, do not do not uh, you know do not um, what's the word. Uh, just do not judge yourself let's say just think about it just think on where are you stuck uh, do a reflection of what are the things that are keeping you stuck on doing the things you don't want to do you know there will be other opportunities to, to move forward but what is most important now is that you actually take the time to reflect and understand what are those fears? What are those mind patterns that are keeping you stuck and not letting you move forward to the next step? So if we look at the year as a year 23, we have 15 plus 23 and that's 38, 11, 2. And 38 has two aspects. If we are stuck in the appearance, it's the split mind. See? So we can be thinking, oh no, this is too difficult, no, I cannot do it. However, if we, if we follow the path of the light, it's the breakthrough. So it's not necessarily an easy process because we need to be courageous. We need to stand on our two feet and move forward with decisions. So that's why last week was a week of um, building our self-authority. Because if we are stuck because of the fear of what others are going to say about us, we, we're not going to move forward. If we are stuck because um, we, we, f we feel afraid of being on, on our own, we're going to be stuck. So last week was a week to reflect, to really look inside and, 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 and take that strength, that inner strength. So this week, we can move forward. So see, each week we'll build on to the next, eh, on the previous one. So for example, today is a day 20. So today you perhaps have the opportunity to do that, that um, preamble to move forward into the next week. So if, if you're still a little bit stuck on fear, be still, listen within, do some meditation, do some walks in nature, do something that will help you connect and observe what is keeping you stuck. So the week starts on the 12th, the 12th of the 4th. And 12, we've talked about the 12th before. 12 uh, relates in the tarot card to the hangman. But the hangman is looking at the world from a different perspective. So it's a time of change, change of perspective. So you start the week with a change of perspective. You need to hang your feet from spirit to your connection to spirit. So if you do this, things are going to look a lot easier than if you're stuck into uh, what appears, what is immediately apparent for you. Okay? And then the month helping us to get that in, that, gain that inside so we can build that new structure. 12 and 4 is the 16. That's a number that we have also um, looked at before. Is the number of the mirror. In the tarot card is the tower. So helping us to clear ourselves, making sure that we really reflect and look inside and see whether what we are presenting in our lives is what we want to, to, to really um, stand for. It, it requires an honest introspection, a, a, an honest reflection. Look at your fears. Don't be afraid of looking at your fears because it's the only way you can see what's keeping you stuck. So look at them and see, okay, I know that I'm afraid of being judged by others, for example. And then and look at that in the, in the eyes and see why is it that I'm, I'm afraid of being judged by others? Is it because X, Y, and Z? Do that own reflection so you can dissolve that pattern and move forward in this 
wonderful week. Okay, so 16 plus the 5 of the year gives us a 21. That's another number that has come up before. And the 21 is giving birth to an idea. It's also that X factor, that um, gift. So you can bring into the world your gifts. So if you are deciding to move forward with what your, your soul is being yelling for you to, to, to do, then you're going to start being able to give birth and present to the world your, your gifts. And so it also corresponds to the new moon in Aries. And this, full, uh, sorry, new moon, did I say new moon? New moon in Aries. And in the new moon, it's time to manifest, that's to start projects. And in Aries, this moon is requesting for us to follow our passion. So see how everything ties together. Um, look at what gives you life. What are those things that really expand your heart? What is it that you do that when you, you do it, you forget about time, you forget about space, that you really satisfy and, and, and it's very rewarding for you? What are those things? So follow your passion. And the week finishes on the 18th. And 18 is a number that will ask us to break mindsets. To, the 8 will ask us to reconsider, to discriminate, to eliminate anything that is no longer serving us. Okay, so then 18 goes to a 9, giving us that that completion, that end of that cycle where we can actually come out of the cocoon. So 18 plus 4 is 22. 22, one of its names is the master builder. So again, talking about a new structure. And so the, the 22 requires for us to ground who we are meant to be. So again, that big reflection, who do you want to be? Who who is it that you, what do you want to stand for? What do you want to, to present, to give to the world? So you need to ground that, okay? You need to be still, connect to yourself and be honest. Be honest. Sometimes that's not so easy because the easy path is to go back to what is known. Whilst this week is asking us to jump and take a leap of faith and, 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 and do the things that are not necessarily uh, the easiest because they are unknown. We don't know what's going to happen. However, if we are following our, our light, our guidance, then we're going to be really um, satisfied with, with what we're doing in our life. So then the 22 plus the 5 gives us 27. And the 27 is the birth of wisdom. So then there you see, it's like this completion. This is that coming out of the cocoon, that butterfly finally making its final decision of doing and following their own light and coming out into the world with this new project, with this new life, with this habit, with this new new way of moving into the world. So take the opportunity to reflect. And again, as I was saying before, if you're not ready to, do, to give birth to yourself just yet, look at what is it that is stopping you? What is um, keeping you stuck into the material, into the appearance, into the, into the um, personality side of things? You know, is it the fear of not having enough? Is it the fear of being judged? Is it the fear of being on your own? Is it the fear of not belonging? You will get back. It's a cycle. You make your own decision. And, and we can only make our decisions when we're ready, you know. But it's important to be aware. It's important to be aware. The opportunities will come again if we say no at this point. But be honest, 
and look at what is keeping you stuck. So when the opportunity arises again, then you're able to move forward. And so you'll see that um, perhaps um, it's, it's, it's going to be um, ne not necessarily easy because you're going to have to start learning to surrender. Surrendering is not, it's not that easy. Thy will, not my will. Thy will, not my will. Thy will, not my will. It's not exactly easy. But I wish that you can make all those um, reflections, that you can really be honest to yourself and at least achieve that level of awareness of what's happening within that is not letting you move forward. If you're ready to birth yourself, I, I, I would love to hear what's happening in your life and, and so others also feel inspired and take the steps. Now I would like to talk to you about a couple of, uh, of workshops that are coming up. The foundation course in, in numerology is coming up in May, at the end of May, May 21st to 23rd and 28th to 30th. It's a full six days of growing and, and, and going deep into the mysteries of life. It's an amazing course not only to learn to understand the numbers but also to understand how it works what's the hidden energy behind everything that we see and it will allow us to move with life and flow a lot easier so talk to me if you would like to know more about this course it's, it's really amazing now if you would like to have your your chart read by me then also get in touch um, it takes an hour and a half we get together and um, we look at all the different patterns, we look at all the, 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 the numbers that are moving you in this wheel of life. And it will possibly give you more awareness and a guidance on how to move forward to make it easier for you to not go against the floor and not resist so much, which is what causes our suffering. We're also having a meditation night on the 21st. Our, our uh, guest speaker is Julia Chai, a lovely friend of ours, and she's going to talk about permission to connect to the divine within. So it's another opportunity to really connect with our divinity, our side that is um, connected to the divine. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful. Please leave your comments. I'd love to hear from you and see you next week. Thank you.